Good morning. It's the 31st of May 2021. I'm Sally Pointer and it's time for a spot of hedge bothering. Now then, if you're anything like me, it gets to this time of year and you start thinking, are my nettles ready for harvesting? It's been a little while since they've been at their peak for eating, where you want the really young tops, but if it's five year after, there are several things you're going to be watching out for at this time of year. And might be too early, they might be ready. Let's see if we can work it out. Now it is being a bit of an odd year this year. This time last year the elderflowers are about over. This year they're only just starting so who knows maybe things are running late but some things are definitely happening apace. In the nettles the flowers are starting to form and this is usually your first indication that the fibre that runs up and down the length of the stalk is probably just about fully formed. Now, fully formed is one thing, whether it's toughened up enough to be good for making cordage and fabric, well, that's another matter. The easiest way to think about this is with any green vegetable. When they're young, they're tender. When they're old, they're stringy. We want stringy for making string with. So this patch is in a hedge next to a lane. They're a good height, but they're also in really full sun. They're quite exposed. I know from experience, for me, these don't give the best results. I will pick one though, and then we'll also go and find some from another area, slightly more shaded perhaps, and we'll have a little compare and see what's going on. So this is the nettle we were just looking at. I've just snapped it off at the base. It's it's not a bad height. This one's got a few little branches, but at this time of year, that shouldn't be a problem. I'm just going to swipe all the leaves off. So I'm going to grab it at the top and then push my fingers down to pull all the leaves off. And straight away, I'm sorry I didn't film that bit. I've only got one hand free today. I've got a really floppy top to my nettle and that was just the pressure of my fingers pushing things down. Now that suggests to me that the internal structures of this nettle aren't quite tough enough yet, but we'll see. You might hear water in the background. I'm about half a mile further up the road down by a stream. Here's one of the elder trees just, see, only just thinking about coming out. And down below it, and just inside a field by lay-by, this stand of nettles I had quite good results with at the end of last season. So I'm going to pick one of these as a comparison. It's a little more shady. They're about the same height. They're about the same development. I think we'll have, we'll have you. I shall roll down a sleeve and get my arm in there. So here's our two test subjects. Um, just to recap, normally I would advise people to wait till around about midsummer before harvesting, but you know, everyone's really keen to get started with the harvest this year. So I'm going to take the leaves off this. I think I'll move over to a slightly quiet a bit of bridge where I can put these flat and we'll have a proper comparison. Now this looks like a quieter workstation. I'm still by the river, but I haven't got the stream babbling around at me. Okay, so this is the one I picked from the hedge and we definitely noticed that was floppy. This one in a slightly more shady location, that's still quite bendy. You know, think in terms of vegetables again, I would still say that's tender. Not sure I'd personally eat it at this point, but down here, that's got a bit more oomph to it. But the proof will be in the peeling. So what I'm going to do, and you've seen me do this in lots of videos before, is I'm going to split them in half. Now I've got no real tools with me today. I've probably got a knife in my pocket somewhere. I'm just going to split these with a thumbnail, split them in half, and we'll see how easily the bark comes off. So once you've got a thumbnail in there, you can just keep opening up the stalk all the way to the top again two hands is much better it opens very very easily at the moment and then what we need to do is see whether this inner section will peel away from the bark on the outside again sorry i'm going to put the camera down for a second and that's certainly coming away nice and easily lovely fat ribbons coming off so that's certainly looking very very promising i'm going to do this to both of them with both hands so I guess I need to result 
and then we'll see whether that is all green matter or whether we've got good fibre in there. Well, those certainly peeled easily. I lost a little bit right at the very tops, but I'll expect that with them being so tender. This top one was the first one from the full sun. This is from the slightly shadier area, a little bit of a taller nettle. It's very, very bendy and flexible. It's very moist. Now, that's great in terms of peeling. Yeah, it really, really does help. The question is, can we isolate the fibres? Now, I've had a rummage in my pocket and I have found a nice little flint flake. So what I'm going to do, and again, this is in my other videos, if you're sad that you can't see my hands working properly, is just between my fingers and thumb, using both hands, I'm just going to scrape at this a little bit and see what happens when we strip away this green barky bit because what we're looking for are fibres. I don't know if they're in there properly yet or not. I'll give it a scrape and I shall report back. Okay let's see if I can mock this up enough. I've got this braced on my knee with my elbow on the other end of the nettle and you can see where I've been scraping some of the greens coming off. Oh, elbow, stay put. Really should learn to bring a tripod out with me. Better? Better. Right. So all I'm doing is very lightly, very little pressure, and just scraping the green, mushy bit off the nettle. And what we're looking for are these white fibres. There's no doubt they're there. The question is, are they strong enough? So I'm going to do this to both sides with both hands, <laughs> which is a lot faster. Uh, a thin bladed butter knife would be really good as well. And we'll just see. Oh, look, there's a nice fibre. Uh, can we get enough of them to do anything good with? That's the first one. Very, very lightly scraped. It really is light. But can you see those silvery patches? Those are the fibres. This is the one that I haven't done yet. So if I turn that over as a comparison, on the barky side, there's still plenty of bark left on this, but it's becoming very thin and flexible. Whereas on the one I haven't scraped yet, there's still some real thickness to that. For the methods I tend to use, I don't do a massive amount of scraping. So I'm going to stop there for the moment. I'm going to scrape this the same. I'll finish my walk by the which time they'll have half dried out and then we'll split them down give them a rub see what we get this is the one from full sun and look the fibers are clearly much better developed you can see all the gunge i've scraped off and how damp my trouser leg is and as i said i'm only using a, a flint flake it's nothing it's nothing special it's not terribly sharp it's just got a nice thin edge but that fiber is starting to show up. So I think we're looking promising that the full sun ones are definitely better at this moment, which is what you'd expect really. Let's uh, let's get at home and try it out properly. I am hopeful we're gonna have a really good nettle fibre year this year. These ones, I'm down near the lakes now, are, that's chest height on me already at the end of May. So I think, yeah, I think if things keep going to plan, you might do really, really well with nettles this year. And they're certainly flowering up nicely. While we wait for me to finish my walk, I'll show you a couple of other things I'm keeping an eye on at the moment. This is Weld. So again, I've done videos about this in the past. This is a, a really good yellow dyed plant. This is in its second year. I spotted these rosettes nice and flat last year. It's just starting to shoot up. Flower spike just forming. Again, round about midsummer, I'll be out for a little bit of this makes the best yellow in my opinion been in use since prehistory lovely stuff wild strawberries too look the first fruits are just starting to form up there good area here for those i often come for a pick a bit later in the summer here's some burdock this is another one you'll have seen me using in videos look at the size of those leaves just for comparison and they're not fully grown yet, but not quite there yet for the things that I use them for. 
Still, it's a very beautiful morning for a walk. One more patch of nettles to inspect over by the church. These are the ones I was harvesting last year in my prehistoric nettle videos. And if you've watched those, you'll remember they were way over my heads. And they were good nettles. Now, these, well, they're just about waist high yet. Those flowers are only just forming up. They're a lovely, delicate, slim nettle that had beautiful fibre. I can tell just by looking at these though, they're a long way off. They're quite shady here. I will have a few hot tips to go into my breakfast omelette though. They've been ready for a long time now, so I'm just on the very tips now. But really, really delicious. Well, that's enough of me wittering. Time for me to head for home to get these processed. I've got them safely in my pocket. Look at this though. The footpath have got completely washed out in the autumn and winter storms last year. Don't let anybody ever tell you that living in the countryside is uneventful. Back home now, and these have been in my pocket. That's the one from the shady area, that's the one from the full sun. So they've dried out a little bit, but they're still very floppy. What I'm going to do while the kettle boils is just split these into ribbons. Um, I'm not overthinking it. This is really, the whole point of this exercise is to see how the fibre is, not to make something utterly perfect. So just seeing what happens, and actually, can you see, I'm getting quite short lengths. Usually when the fibre is riper, the nettle will split, usually into at least four sections, but quite often a lot more, down the whole length without any difficulty. And the reason it splits so easily is because those long fibres are ripe. So it's not it's not terrible, but it's not perfect yet. But this was the one from the moisture area. Let's put that to dry. Let's see how the one that was in full sun is doing. Now this one is already splitting down by itself, just being in my pocket while I did another two or three miles has made a difference. I think, I think you probably agree, I think that's splitting a bit more evenly. So definitely at the moment full sun is a much riper nettle as we would expect. They still, they still feel quite tender to me. Right, those are probably about as split as they need to be for this exercise. I am going to have my cup of tea, maybe a nice buttered crumpet. It is after all a bank holiday Monday and most people are still very sensibly having a lie-in. And as soon as these are dry, I'm going to cord them up into really basic string and we'll do a bit of strength testing and we will decide whether, for this area at least, the nettles are usable yet whether I need to be more patient. Put the kettle on. Well, these are lovely and dry now. So this is the bit from the shady area. And we've got the one from the, the sunny bit. So there's lots of different ways of preparing nettles. But at the moment, the way I favour is the light scrape that we did a moment ago. And then a little rubbing between the palms to help flake off what remains of the barky bit. So I'm going to give these a little rub. I'm going to be quite gentle because I do think that at the moment we're only at the best just ready for using these. And you can probably see there's quite a bit of green matter flaking off of these. Well, I'm going to move that out of the way because no one's confusing quite yet. If these really aren't ready at all, the likelihood is they'll pretty much fall to pieces during this stage. I'm hoping though that they don't because I really do want the nettles to be ready. I ran out of the stuff that I harvested last year quite some time ago and I really could do with things being ready to go. Now then, that'll do for this. That's all that's left though of that first nettle. 
we've got some quite nice fibres showing up there. I'll put that to one side, I'll do the other one, and then we'll have a proper compare. I think you can probably tell though that it's not a lot of yield for the effort on that one. Let's see what the sunny one's like. Okay, same thing again. Just rub it between my palms, pushing back in any long strands that come off. I'm not being too energetic, really just softening this up and flaking off the worst of the now dry and crispy green bits. And there are some nice long strands in here. I can usually rely a little later in the season in getting quite a lot of long strands using this method. Those bits are pretty good. Right, let's keep getting that together. What have we still got down here that's usable? hopeful about this sun patch of nettle and although I've got a couple of really nice long strands there most of it has gone down into quite small pieces that aren't that usable so let's see okay close up are we more or less in focus what I'm going to do is I am going to twist a little bit of this up into string. So, a few little bits. I'm just going to lick my fingers, just put the merest morsel of moisture back into them. So this is the shady nettle. It's twisting up quite nicely. Come a bit closer so you can see what's what's going on. I'm not aiming for a particularly tidy string. I just really want to see how it's handling at the moment. One of the things we did last year was the one nettle sewing thread challenge, which you will find various social media posts. And I did a video about around there when the challenge was to take one single nettle prepare it by any method you liked and see how long a piece of string or cordage you could make again by any method out of it and there were some amazing results mine was okay but there were definitely people out there who did the most beautiful fiber and cordage if you saw even any of the results of those you'll know that you can quite often get several yards of fine cord off a single nettle. Well, from this one, this is the shady one. I'm not even going to try doing the end of this properly. I've got, ooh, six inches. Okay. It's rough. It's hairy. What are we like on strength? There's not much strength there yet, is there? So the shady one, no, definitely not ready. Let's have a quick go at the sunny one. Uh, again, I think we might have a few problems with this one too. Let me just overlap a couple of strands into that nice bit. Just licking my fingers very occasionally. You don't need to put an awful lot of moisture back in when you've done such a crude preparation. I think if I was just making coarse string, if I just peeled the bast off and I'd let it 
lose its moisture and then just cord it up and I haven't done any scraping at all. I think we might get away with this for string at the moment. This is cording a bit better. This is the bit for the sunny area, remember? I think we are getting a slightly more satisfactory feel to it. I'm still not going to get very much length though. Okay, let me just do a little bit more just so we can strength test it. I'm not going to bother using all these tiny little scraps up. Again, I'm perfectly capable of making tidy string. I'm not too worried about it for this. This is very much an experiment just to see how the nettles are toughening up. I think that's probably long enough. If I kept going and using every single scrap, I think I might have got another, ooh, another inch or so out of this. But again, I hold that against my skin so you can see it. We've got a coherent string now then. Let's strength test it. Well, that's better. I can't break that. Oh, just. Okay, I had to work really hard at that. So, let's put these side by side, what's left of them, and we will come up with the official verdict. So, the official verdict. Out of my two strands of nettle, I've ended up with some very scrappy bits. They're less than the length of my hand. When we test snap them, they really didn't hold up all that well. I think if you were just wanting to peel off the bass, dry it and make a coarse string, are your nettles ready? Maybe, just about. If you want to scrape, dry and rub them the way I tend to favour, are my nettles ready? Not yet. I would give them at least two more weeks and then pick from the sunny areas. If you want to retch your nettles where you really need strong fibre to be able to cope with the rigours of that um, slight decay of the green sections to release the fibres, are my nettles ready? No, sorry, I don't think they are. I would definitely give them to midsummer. Next year might be different, your area might be different, all nettles are different. Don't let my experiment stop you trying. We're nearly there, but in my opinion, not quite yet. Happy hedge bothering.